Hey everybody, Shep here. Well today I wanted to make a video about the little corn crib that I have here on the homestead. Um, this has been in other videos. I've talked about it. There's really not a whole lot to talk about. But um, I wanted it to have its own video because it's a, it's a super handy thing to have. And I'm sure that there's other people that uh, were like I was a few years ago looking, you know, for a, for a easy way to store a small amount of uh, ear corn so this is my little corn crib it is built out of a uh, tote cage for a 275 gallon um, tote tank and I've lined the inside of it with hardware cloth which is just zip tied I forget exactly how much hardware cloth it took quite a bit um, I've made a roof for it out of two by threes and then this was some uh, old barn metal that I had laying around that I cut to size so basically um, if you want to see this thing in action you can check out my corn harvest video from last year or I have like I said I've got several videos that this is in but uh, you can you can check those out basically what you do is you take you can take the lid off, which is kind of an awkward job for one person. The lid just sets here on the frame. And um, you just take the lid off, and then you can just shovel shovel the corn in through the top. That's what I do. Um, that works out pretty good, usually. And then I have a little door here that I've made where I've utilized one of the squares and the in the uh, the cage design and then I've just made it to fit that as a little door so you can see I already have a few ears in the crib and uh, those were ones that as I was kind of walking out through the patch I found the stalks were knocked over and they were laying on the ground so I put them in here to dry um, the door is super easy to take off You can see there's the door where I get the ear corn out. Now, obviously, there I just put that in there, but normally you load it through the top, and you only uh, you only get in here to unload it. And you can see something's already been in here. So this thing is not a hundred percent mouse proof. They can still get in it. I'm not exactly sure how. Now this access door that I made, uh, originally the, the cage had like a metal tag on it that told what, you know, was in, had a sticker that told what was in the tote, um, but I just used that, I used that metal tag and just a scrap piece of plywood and bent it, uh, bent it over and tacked it together to make a door. And like I said, I just made that to fit uh, one of the square openings in the cage. Something I'll recommend if uh, if you go about making one of these the way I did, uh, I have this this thing here. It's kind of a, a rake head, and it's on a hoe handle. I'm not sure what this tool is called or what its actual use is, but for uh, for this crib, it's absolutely perfect tool because it's long enough you can reach all the way to the other side of it. You can rake stuff to you. It's just a really handy thing, and if you build one like this 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 might be something to consider getting as well it's another guy on youtube that uh that made that gave me this idea that made one of these and uh the way he did his though he it was interesting and this would work well if you had a tractor that had a loader he made his so he could uh you know put it on the front of the tractor with the with forks and uh, carry this right out into the corn patch and and pick it that would work really well, like I said, if you had a tractor with a loader. I don't, so that's why I have it here. And I've just set it on concrete blocks to keep it uh, keep it up off the ground here. One thing I'll note is where this is uh, sitting, it doesn't really get any straight line wind. 
but if it did, there'd be the possibility that it could literally blow the lid off of it. So one thing I would recommend, and I, I need to do this for this as well, I just haven't got around to it, um, would be a way to fasten fasten the, the roof of this down, which you could very easily do with small chain and eyelets on it. And that's kind of been my plan on how I was going to do it. I just haven't got around to it. But anyway, I wanted to show this off and kind of talk about it and, and why I built it. Um, when I first started growing corn, which I only grow a small amount of corn here on the homestead for my chickens, uh, I needed a way to be able to store it. I didn't really have any place to put it in a barn or anything like that. So I saw the video, thought it was a really great idea. And, uh, you know, at the time I had this, this cage and it, it was the cheapest alternative I could do to, to make one of these. I had looked at the price of uh, if I built something, just basically a similar wooden box out of two by fours, basically the same idea wrapped with hardware cloth, uh, what it would cost. And it was, it was going to cost quite a bit. Of course, that was at the time where lumber was pretty high. Um, but still, I had this laying around. Now, in my area, you can usually find these these uh, totes with the cages for you can find them sometimes for as cheap as you know fifty dollars or a little bit cheaper um, this is one of the things that if you live in or like a rural community uh, once in a while you can just come into these and find somebody that's giving them away which is how I got this one so that's always an option if you're patient uh, you know maybe you might be able to find one of these for free when I built this I think I had about seventy dollars in it which was mostly the cost of the hardware cloth and I did have to buy I did have to buy the uh, um, barn metal uh, screws but you know for building something like this that wasn't too bad because uh, this year this will be the third crop of corn that I've put in it so it's holding up really good and uh, if anybody out there needs something like this it's a really handy thing I'm glad I have it hopefully this video has helped somebody else out out there with uh, you know maybe give them an idea if uh, if you guys do build this or if you think of anything that I could have done better or improvements to it please let me know because at some point I'm probably going to build another one of these down the road and it'd be nice to nice to know of any improvements but um uh, Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully everybody out there has a great day.